exactly. Right. I think that was our kind of website. Well, as, as far as those people who contact the office and they wonder, does uh, the representative ever see my message? Do they ever hear what I have to say? I would encourage them that absolutely yes. Uh, it, it does make a difference when they, when they call the office, when they send in the emails, when they write the letters. We pay attention. And at least in my office, every week I, I get a pretty extensive report on um, those who have contacted the office. and pros and cons and what they're saying. I get some examples. Um, it's, also, it's also great for me to be able to go on Facebook right now and go to, go to my page and, and see what people are saying. You know, we'll, we'll post something and, and get the, the feedback immediately from, from the people that I represent. I may not go to them directly and say, well, you know, Joe XYZ said this, you know, because there's a million Joe XYZs out there. But, you know, in meetings, you know, especially with legislators for, with comp staff, you know, you'll say, well, you know, the constituents have expressed concern about this or expressed concern about that. And you don't, we don't go out of the way to say, well, they did it on Twitter or they did it on Facebook. It's more of a, a general consensus building. So if you received a lot of emails, a lot of tweets, a lot of Facebook posts on it, then it's one concise message that we received, and that's a consensus. So then we'll bring that up in the meeting. I would say looking back two years ago, back in 2008, we probably received about maybe 20, 25,000 form letters throughout the whole year. The year 2009, we actually increased it up to 90,000. So out of those 90,000, we probably, I would say, is 90, or 80% was emails, 10% was phone calls, and the 10% was probably snail mail. We actually came in physical. And so with a huge increase, it was kind of hard for us to continue to could carry the same process we had. So we had to readdress the situation, kind of find, we tweaked the system to make sure we get the message out quicker. And so using technology such as emails, uh, utilizing social media to get the message out. But we do also get more instant feedback on an idea, for example, through Twitter. Um, that's a little harder to gauge because you're not always sure that it's your constituents, but you know, you can go through and look and see that, you know, following the congressman, we've got, uh, we've got a lot of reporters. We do have a lot of Long Islanders. Then we have people who are interested in specific issues. He's very interested in energy, for example.